Have you heard this about Ozempic? That's the hot weight loss drug. Right. With mm -hmm. the jingle, oh, 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 Ozempic. Yeah. That's yeah. magic. Yeah, I know the what one. What song is that by? I don't remember who it's by, but I remember I don't either, and I don't song. care. They were yeah. one hit wonder, I think. Anyway, <laughs> come to find out. They're charging about $1,000 for it in the United States. For Ozempic? For a monthly supply. Well, and that's the thing. It's not really just for weight loss. There are people who also use it to manage their diabetes. Yes, which can be, can be, uh -huh. not always, a life-threatening condition. Right. It, so maybe it needs to be regulated like insulin. I don't know. I mean, I kind of think so. If people could literally die if they don't get it, and realistically, even if you do just want to lose weight, like if it is purely cosmetic, there has to be a cap. Oh, there's a, well, there's a ton of studies that show that, uh, you know, I don't know. Every pound you have, every pound that you are overweight puts a undue amount of stress on your body and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Come to find out, it only costs about five dollars to produce a month's supply of this stuff. So now they're under fire. Mm -hmm. And here's what gets me even angrier. I mean, he might as well be. Uh, what's that, Martin Shrekel? Uh, I know the guy. The, don't uh, remember his name, but yeah, yeah. that guy. The guy yeah. that took took the AIDS medication and like. Mm -hmm. Up the price by 2,000% or whatever. Yeah, Shrekly? for no good reason. Anyway, um, Ozempic costs $5 a month to produce. They're selling it for $1,000 for a month's supply. So they're coming under fire because they're selling it at other countries for about 155 bucks a month. Wow. But here in America, something's wrong with our system. Something yeah. is severely broken. Well, it's because... I love capitalism. Right. But this is ridiculous. But they have no incentive to actually help people. They only have an incentive to make money. Right. And that's so that's so different if your product is purely recreational and you don't need it and you'll be fine without it. Like, realistically, a Fendi bag, uh, anything Chanel, that sort of thing. Sure. Sure. Charge, charge $6,000 for a bag. Sure. No one will die without it. Yeah. Okay. Something like this. I mean, even if it's not dying, even if it's just quality of life, even if someone gets to just feel better about themselves because they have your product and there's not really any other way that they can do it. Because people have adverse reactions to medications all the time. Sometimes there's only one that works for you. And I get it. There's so much that has to happen before a drug hits the market. Oh, I know that very well. I used to work in clinical trials. Yeah. And, you know, you know I think every pharmaceutical company's dream is, oh, we're going to make millions or billions mm -hmm. or trillions. And do you need to? Can you just make millions instead of billions? Right. To help the American public? Yeah. Remember, I think it was Jonas Salk who gave away the polio vaccine for free mm -hmm. because he really cared about the health of people. Right. Don't see a lot of that these days. No, you really don't. And it's such a shame, you know? I understand having to charge more than what it actually costs to produce, maybe even significantly more. But realistically, even if they were charging 500 versus 1,000, that's still a way better look, dude. Yeah. I think they should change their jingle to, oh, oh, overpriced drug. You know. <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm not on key today. Well, and also, I think part of it is that the U.S. allows drug ads on TV. Yeah. And those cost good money. No, oh, yeah. You know, realistically, I think even if we just cut that and we said, sorry, you're not allowed to advertise your, your medication that not everyone needs to everyone, because that seems obvious to me. I don't know. Um, but even if they had to cut out just their advertising budget they'd probably be able to knock down the price of their product and still make the exact same amount of money. But then how will people hear about it? I mean, uh, I can I hear- I don't know, through their doctors. <laughs> right, I can hear arguments on both sides. <laughs> the people who actually should be recommending a medication to someone. Right, there's a family guy clip like, well, have you considered taking this drug because it was recommended to me by a hot pharmaceutical chick who travels around in a suitcase? Or, or with a suitcase? Shit, I mean, I yeah, it. it's but true though. <laughs>